Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are going to look at middle way, which is a list one problem, and I'm going to do the Python solution. The problem states, given two empty arrays, A and B, each length three, return a new array, length two, containing the middle elements. So before going on, I want to pause here, and you might notice that this section is called lists, yet we're talking about array data structures. That's because the problems were originally done in Java, and they were done with arrays, and in Python we tend to use lists more. They function more or less the same, but it's really important to highlight that they are fundamentally different. And that's all I want to say there. But I just, you know, if I'm working with students learning to program, I really highlight that point that lists and arrays are different. Okay, I'm going to do this a few ways. What this problem is really checking to see is if you can create a new list, you can access individual elements, and you understand the concept of length and indexes. So, if you look at the example, we see, you know, the parameter A is 1, 2, 3, parameter B is 4, 5, 6, and we get 2, 5. And that's because the second element located at index 1 is 2. The second element located at index 1 is 5. So therefore, I can easily do this by simply saying return. And I'm going to make a new list. And I'm going to say a at 1, comma, b at 1. And that's it. Done. Again, pretty straightforward when you see this. Now, if I wanted to make this a little bit of a harder problem, I might modify it by saying, okay, your two parameters are lists, but the length can be anything as long as it's odd, in which case we always have a middle element. So the question is, how do we find that middle element? Well, before I actually do the answer, I want to talk about a concept here called integer division. It's a really important concept, and it's one that will serve you well, um, but it's one of those ones that's a little tricky first to get in your head. So integer division is the process of dividing two integers and getting an integer value with no decimal. Integer division does not round. It simply chops off the decimals. And let me show you something. So just so you know, the back end of coding bat is Python 2, not Python 3. And there is a change, and I talk about it down here. If I just return here 3 divided by 4, you might say to yourself, OK, I know 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. But if I hit go, I get 0. That's because in Python 2, when I put a single, if I have if I have an integer in the numerator and an integer in the denominator, it predicts that you want an integer result. So it just simply chops off the decimals. If I put 3.0 divided by 4, I get 0 0.75. Because I'm a, it sees that this is a float, and this is an integer, and floats are a larger data, like they, they are a larger um, primitive type, they need more memory, and so it assumes the result will be a float, therefore I get the decimal. Java works very similarly. And I often see students make errors in certain types of problems because they forget about integer division. Now, Python 3 is a little different. Just to note this, if I do 3 divided by 4 in Python 3, they actually assume you're doing regular division. Python 3 introduced this new notation, the slash slash notation, which does integer division. Okay, I will link a video about integer division in this comment section here. Now, let's take a look at this. Well, if I just take the length of A and I divide it by 2, let's see what we get. So if I take the length of A and divide it by 2, we get 1. And that makes sense because the length of A is always going to be 3. And 3 divided by 2, if I just do a little comment here, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. But remember, integer division chops off the decimals, so it gives me 1, which is conveniently the middle index. So therefore, to do this problem, if I want to generalize it to, an, to a list of an odd length, it's going to be return a at the length of a divided by 2, b at the length of b divided by 2. There we go. And I hit go, and that's it. So I hope this helped. Um, integer division is really important to know. So like I said, in the description, there's a link to a video there. Take a look. If you have any, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.